I'm Jennifer and we are going to be taking the measurements that we need for drafting with the new Bare Essentials Bras book. Um, there are five measurements we actually need to take, four of them on the body and one of the wire. Um, we will begin with the ones that are on the body. Um, the first three you're going to take are going to be without a bra on, so it's going to be bare skinned. Um, you can do this in the mirror in the bathroom, so you can actually double check to make sure that you're getting things in the right place. Um, or if you're comfortable with somebody else taking your measurements, um, go ahead and do that. Your first measurement you're going to be taking is your chest, which is your overbust, which is basically sitting directly above the breast tissue, or kind of right where the breast starts uh, on the body. And you want to take that so it's right underneath the arm, straight across the back. And here, so I kind of, we can't do it completely like this because your arm's there, but as close to kind of um, parallel to the floor as you can get. Um, and here we have 34 inches for this dress form. The second measurement you're going to be taking is the underbust. So right underneath the breast, slide it up underneath there, and then you're going to be taking this measurement. Now this one is best taken if it is parallel to the floor. And if you're doing this on yourself, this could become a little bit difficult. So um, I actually found this great little tape measure. And uh, what you can do is you can actually hook it right in and basically pull this little button and it will retract it to where you are comfortable with it and where you can see it in front of the mirror. And once you have it, basically it's in the right place and you hold on to this, you basically can just take that off and then see your measurements. So this might be a nice way to actually do that. So you have your overbust or chest measurement, your underbust measurement. And the third one, you're gonna need a piece of string in order to do this. So grab a piece of string this is my daughter's string, and I'm actually going to tie tie this loosely where basically her your chest measurement was. Okay, make it so I can reuse the string, and then tie where the underneath is. It doesn't matter if the if this is parallel or anything, but we want to make sure that at the center front. We have it right where you took your other two measurements. And then you're going to take against the skin from this top down to the bottom. And here we have five and a quarter. And this is going to be used for the cut draft and also the band draft. Okay, so that is your three without. And then you have your fourth with. So you want to be putting on your best fitting bra, and that may be a sports bra if that's what you got. Um, if you don't have anything that basically holds you up and places you where you should be, um, you may want to just kind of prop yourself up and have somebody else help measure you. And then you want to be measuring at the widest point of your breast, of your bust, and uh, here we have is 35. So um, you want to have those four measurements. And then you're going to get the measurement from your wire. Now, and I think I should have it sitting over here somewhere, and where is it? I have a few things over here. One moment. So if you have a wire that you're going to be testing with, that's great. You want to make sure that you have a good fitting wire. Um, and if you're using one of my wires, one of the porcelain wires, you can actually use the charts directly from my book. <clears throat> if you're using one of, one of my wires, one of the porcelain wires, um, you can fit with that um, if you already have a handful of them available. And then you use the measurements directly from my book. If you're using another manufacturer's, um, I do have several charts on my website. Um, you can go to the catalog and download that catalog. Just make sure you print it at 100% um, so it's not scaled. And then line your wire up to my wires and see which is the closest shape to at least the bottom part. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the width of the circle that this sits into. So a circle sits basically into this area. 
So it's not all the right way across the cup, and I'll get into the wire measurements in just a moment. Um, but we want to basically make sure that this curve, it sits in there. Um, so let's just say you don't have one of my wires, but you have some flexible wire. Now this is actually some pretty cool stuff I got from Lowe's. It's actually for um, like a clothesline, but it's plastic covered. Um, and I bent down the edge, and I went ahead and kind of put it into a slight little shape. Um, and it's a lot easier to control once you've got it slightly bent. So here, this wire is obviously too short, so this would need to get a little bit flexed a little bit here. Um, and now I'm not kind of stretching the wire at all. This is where it would sit. And I'm looking here, and this is basically, you're going to line this piece up to the chart, and this is pretty close to what I've got with this wire. So um, this is my 40 wire. Um, whatever shape you get here, you can compare it to my charts. Um, we do want to get the bottom curve. Now hold on to this because, um, or if you're also using someone else's wire, hold on to it. Um, you want to know what your actual shape is because you might need to modify the band a little bit for the draft, but we'll get, over, we'll get to that shortly. If you're working with a wire other than the ones that I basically carry, um, you may have different wire specs, but the important thing that we actually need to know is what circle did this come from? Every single wire comes from a circle, um, and we just need to know where that is. So what I would do here is, if we don't have the chart to compare it to, um, what we can do is we can basically do kind of a little trace of it, of our wire. I'm going to do both sides because it's really what we should be trying to do is find the middle of it. Now let's say when you were fitting your wire you actually had to stretch it a tiny bit in order for it to fit right. That's what we call a little bit of wire splay and that's fine we can actually draft for that but if the wire fits you perfectly there's no reason to, do, to add any of that in. So what I'm going to do is on this one I'm going to basically spring it a little bit Say, so, okay, hey, since this is usually the front, I'm going to try and keep this straight. This is the side that would need to come out a little bit more. So, let's see if I can manage to do this, holding it open. Okay, and then maybe just bring it a little bit like that. It's hard to do here. Basically, we want to have our shape. So, this is just a little bit wider to fit the breast tissue. Um, and what this actually does is this makes this center circle wider than normal. So, what I'm going to try and do is on the regular wire, think about where it's going to fit on the body. And in general, it kind of fits right about here. I'll move the other one so you don't, you don't get confused. And then what I want to do is I want to find the lowest part of the wire right here. That's about right. Okay. I'm going to use my compass. And this is actually really great. We can line this up right to that center point. And this is right in the center of the, kind of right at the edge of the wire. So if I were to take my compass and make a circle, This is definitely the circle, the shape of the circle that we're going for. This one, so right now, let's just say we have from going across from this point, um, and actually, wait, let's do it from the tip so you can see the difference. So here from tip to tip, and this is at an angle, of course, actually, let's straighten it up. So if we could basically go from tip, I'm going to the middle of that line, so the middle of that line. So we have seven and five-eighths is basically the width. So I'm going straight across. So this one's a little bit higher. That's fine. So over here, when this is spread out more on the body, it is actually going to have more of an equal fit from top to bottom. So <coughs> give me, what we're going to do is let's, let's measure from the middle of this one to the middle of this one. Because this is basically the exact same height. 
So we have from here. So we have basically this one, we have eight and an eighth. So this is the exact same wire, but we have a different measurement for each one. This also means that our curve is going to be slightly bigger. So we have, what is that difference? That's a half an inch difference. So I'm going to add, I'm going to increase this let's see, on the metric side, increase it by about a quarter of an inch. This might be too much, I'm just kind of guessing. Let me try and find a, the lowest point on the curve and go up here. Now if you look here, this one fits into a bigger circle than this one. And this circle is what we need to know on either one of these. So this one, when we actually go to draft it, it's going to be a little bit different in shape. And you're going to need to account for this. So what you want to do is get your wire trace, get make, make sure that you actually have it splayed so you have all the details on what this is. Um, and then you know that, okay, over here on the side, you're not going to be raising that seam up as high as this one. So if you look here, this one's got a good, you know, 3 eighths of an inch higher over here when this one is actually the same. So this one's higher by 3 eighths, and this is without any splay. And here is one that's actually, it's exactly the same height as both. It does have a little bit more spread on the side, but that's just how it works. So for this one, we did our measurement at, did I write the first one down? Okay, so we did three and, so three quarters plus a thirty second of an inch. Three quarters plus a thirty second. So that's eight times four. Yeah, 24. So then we actually have 3 and 25 30 seconds, and that is the radius. And then you multiply that by 2 for the diameter. On this one, we we actually just increased it by a total of a half a quarter of an inch, right? Let me double check. Since I forgot to write that down. So we have 3 in 15, 30 seconds. So this side, this is my radius, and times 2 is my diameter. Now I actually have a chart, I basically have a calculator on my website, on my blog, and I will link it here. And <clears throat> what you do is you then enter in all of your different measurements with this new information. So if you are not using my wires, this is how you create it and you can use your own measurements on here. Um, but if you are using my wires, um, you can use the ones directly in the book, the charts right in the book, or the, char the charts actually that autofill um, from the calculator. And uh, that is how you actually determine your wire width. The last video we did was of taking all your measurements. What you want to do now is take all those measurements and go to um, my blog. Um, I have a calculator on there, so go to blog.porcelain.com and then when you are on the website, you're going to go to um, under pattern tutorials, you'll see bra making calculator. So go here, and this is where we're going to fill out our information. Now you can select either imperial or metric. Um, I work in imperial, so I'll be doing these measurements in imperial. And these are the measurements that I took for the um, on the dress form. So we have the full bust, which we had 34 and a quarter. Now you can do fractions here too. Um, that's 
wonderful. My husband built it like this. So over chest, we have 34. And then we had for the under bust, we had 28. The chest height on her was five and a quarter. And over here, we actually, you can select which wire it is you're actually gonna be drafting from. Now, if you're not gonna be using one of my wires and it doesn't relate to any of my charts, then you can just come here and enter in your number manually. Um, but if you are able to compare your wire to one of my charts, we're going to select the wire here. And if you look here, you can actually select which wire and where we chose the 40 regular. Um, our dress form is completely symmetrical. Now, if you're not sure if you are symmetrical, we're just going to do it the first draft with no asymmetry. If you believe you are bigger on one side, then you can add here or if you think you might be two sizes difference, um, this is where you will adjust that. Now if you come here, we'll hit calculate and it should auto fill it. Sometimes if you're actually filling this form out more than once, um, you may need to actually go back and hit the calculate button. So these are the amounts. So here we have cup one and cup two. Uh, we don't have any asymmetry, so we don't have to deal with this one. But these are the amounts that I'm going to record. So we have for the horizontal bust measurement, and I believe I might have named this a few different things, so um, I might try and go and update this chart a little bit. Then we have the radius of the bust, which is basically the half of the horizontal, so we have 4 and 5, 30 seconds. We have the vertical, which is 6 and 7 sixteenths. We have the quarter circumference. which is four and five eighths. Then over here, since uh, we're gonna hold on off on that for a second, and this is actually for the band, so this actually just does the math of dividing by four for you. So you have your one quarter over bust, which is eight and a half, and your one quarter under, which is seven. And that is just taking your under and your over and dividing those by four. Um, it's just an extra little math step that you don't have to pull out your calculator for. Now, if you look right here, this has to do with the depth of the bust. So, if you are not sure, and this is your first time, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> this is your first time drafting, you're just going to use the average. So, what you might want to do is your average is three and a quarter, and I would recommend doing this for your first time, unless for, you know a hundred percent that your bust is, your apex is lower in the cup than, so if it's, it basically makes it smack dab in the middle of the cup. Um, and this will actually, the deep one means that the apex is higher, and the shallow means the apex is lower. So if you're not exactly sure, we're going to start here, you can of course make notes of these, um, but once you do your test fit, you'll know this for sure. Okay, then we have the chest, the top cup difference, the chest difference, which is three quarters of an inch, and then your strap placement, which is 11 sixteenths. Um, down here, this has to do with the cups, so we'll actually come back to this chart at another point and uh, refer to this. This will have to do with our curves. Now, if you are, let's say, drafting for two different wires, um, let's just say that you have you do have an asymmetry of one cup and you'll notice down here it changes this so you have a half an inch difference between the two cups so what I would do is if this wire so if your 40 wire is for the larger cup you're going to take the measurements right here for your 40 cup then let's say you're going to do the other one at a 38 Instead of taking this larger one, you're going to take the smaller number now. Now if you notice, this changed also. That's because it's calculating the entire bra based on this wire and your measurements. So for the smaller cup, then you would use cup number two with your smaller wire. So you get that? So your larger cup, if you use a larger wire, you use cup one. If you are smaller and you use a smaller cup, 
calculate again, you'll use cup two information. And the only thing that changes based on this is your horizontal and radius. Everything else is the same. Your vertical stays the same because this is based on a different number. I believe, let me just double check that. Did that change too? Oh, it did change, okay. Uh, my bad. Um, yeah, so I guess I need to add, have my husband add another button here. So definitely record the vertical bust for both cup one and cup two. Um, okay, and that is pretty much it for this chart. Once you have those recorded, then we can begin our draft. If you're interested in watching videos on the drafting with the book, um, it is now available um, as a course on our website, courses.porcelain.com. With the course, you'll be actually getting um, all the information in little videos. So um, the video you just previously watched will actually be in there, but split up into little um, segments so you can ask questions um, and any other um, pertinent information that you may have questions on. Um, I will also be able to answer your questions directly um, when, when it comes to your specific draft. So you can actually upload your work so I can check it for you. Um, but the key is, is that I will be available to help you one-on-one -on -one with that draft. Um, I will not be offering the drafting on YouTube, um, but I will have several other classes or several other YouTube videos that will be available um, for free, but the drafting and the manipulation chapters that are in the book will actually be in the form of a course. Thanks for watching. If you would like to have more content like this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, or leave a comment below. Thank you very much.